been having a uh, uh, frequent cases of overuse virus, genome and account, house breaking, bug driving, and it has become a menace. So I sat down and then drew operation and then decided to cover the problem because it was almost reaching out of hand. So as from Friday, I started my operation within Omambi count, Ningori count, Kisi count, and Kisumu count. I have made some arrests of some suspects who produced a lot of information. Actually, the initial information was given by members of public. They were suspecting some characters. Because when we looked at OMB, every day we could add around four to five entries of the same offense. Items which have been stolen are the same, same character. They target TVs, fringe, and the gas cookers, and any other, uh, other clothing materials. So, after I started the operation, I made some arrests. The first two suspects, uh, actually one was arrested at Mingori, and I rushed and they got an auto win, and they computed the information, and now they started opening up. Up to this moment, I have six suspects in custody. They have led to arrest of another, they lead to arrest of another, they lead to arrest of another, and I've made some recoveries, as you can see. These are items I've recovered today. There are others in another store. I recovered other in Migori, in EKC, and the suspect are in our custody. Now, what is coming out is that these boys, most of them are residents of Common Bay, but they are scattered in neighboring counties. They have red market. They know where they take the property that they steal. In fact, it's very rare to see a suspect who sleeps or who gets an item and goes to his house. He goes direct to sell. I have found that and uh, it has come out clear. Most of the TV sets, the big TV sets, uh, the late buyers are business people. People owning bars because they want to show that people matches and what have you. The generators, you see, they have been buying to back up the shortage of power. When there is no power, they light the generators you have seen. So, so far, uh, we are progressing there. I have said we have six suspects in our custody, and we are running them to court. In between, three of them. One I arrested in Ikisi, another one in Migori, and another one here in Omambi. We have arraigned them to court today, but we seek, we sought to more days to complete our investigation with the court, and we have been granted around six days. They are still assisting us. We are yet to make more recovery. Three ring leaders are with me. It's only one whom I cannot mention the name because he has not been arrested. Who is that around? Yeah. They are all locals, but they are using names of Islamic uh, uh, religion. We have uh, m Muslim names actually to conceal their identity. Yeah. So what I can appeal to public is to urge business people to be very careful. Also let business people embarrass and invest a little bit on security. Let us work with CCTV, let them have a watchman, because these boys are targeting where there is no watchman. If there is a watchman in that third case of horror, they go straight to kill the watchman. But when there is CCTV, the footage will assist us. It has done. I have some clips whom we are dead for. Uh, they are uh, positively identified from the CCTV footage. So I urge members, uh, business people to the press, yeah, to install actually CCTV. It will assist us. Do you normally operate at night? At night. At night. Even I may also say we are foreign victims. Some of my staff officers from this station, they are staff because they have some of us identified as 